Well, Ida Brizal is ready. He's, uh, he's also online. We're having via Skype from Russia as well. Good morning and thank you for joining us today. Well, it was a good match. We, we enjoyed ourselves even though we didn't uh, lift the trophy. Uh, how did you react to the match at the end of the day? Very sad, very sad, very, very sad. You know, um, it's like when a grave, graveyard here in Russia has been, been quite painful. You know, we're very close, but still too far. You know, we shouldn't have, we shouldn't have um, been kicked out yesterday. We didn't deserve to lose. Yes, indeed. But, you know, uh, if we could go back to some of the events that transpired on the day, well, key, some of them were the, those changes. And one is just wondering, well, yes, uh, Johnny, we saw that Kilishi Hanato wasn't as effective, but Johnny Gallo eventually came on. But then the two other changes, as many are already talking about now, they were just wondering, mm -hmm. was there, do you think that there was a thinking that perhaps Tyrone Eboe, he considered the penalty, so uh, we couldn't afford to bring him in because the coach, I heard him say previously, the guy has got speed. So should we have thrown yeah. in two other people because clearly the players were tired and game management, which is what I always talk about. When the Argentines were throwing in players, we didn't have fresh legs and fresh minds in the back. I think technically, to one point, uh, Gunnar Roy did very well. You know, again, I've always said it, being in the stadium is a different ball game. You see angles that television would not show you. And the, the ambience, the atmosphere, we had about 30,000 or 35,000 Argentines there. They were screaming that they were like they were in Oshodi, in Lagos. <laughs> it, it, was, it was crazy. The, the boys did well. You know, it was credit them. Yes, when you talk about tactical changes, Again, every coach thinks, uh, you know, differently from those of us that are armchair critics. But, but I think for me, yes, one change that he should have made a long time was what he did not make. When he took out, uh, when he brought Iwobi, I'm not sure that was the right person to bring in at that particular time. We thought he would have brought in John Ogu just to come and cement the defense. We were looking at the time. We were already giving ourselves high fives and we were telling ourselves until... Igalo lost that um, chance. You know, I think if Igalo shows up in, in the Nigerian camp, he will be, he will be lynched. Everybody just talks about Igalo, 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 that he can score goals. If he had scored the goal, we wouldn't have been talking about uh, the mistakes uh, that cost the goal. And again, because I'm a footballer, you, like I said, you see things before they happen. Before the cross came, we had seen that Moses was not tracking back. Mm. And one of the causes of goals is fellow to track your opponent down or ball watching, which was what Moses was doing. For me, they should have taken Moses out the first half. After the first half, he should have gone. He had nothing to do in that game yesterday. Uh, uh, for me, he was the biggest culprit. He wasn't marking, he wasn't tracking back. And when Rojo scored the goal, he, you know, he was late to react. But again, we must credit this team. It's a young team. We all feel bad, you know. We're, we're a proud nation. We, we feel bad that we've lost the game, but what a game. What a game of football yesterday that even the, the almighty Diego Maradona fainted. How can you faint playing Nigeria? That just shows you how, how serious the game was. You know, I was just thinking because uh, when you started, you said that we didn't deserve to have lost out in this particular game. Uh, no, I, we didn't I, deserve. We didn't yes. deserve. Could, could you tell us, why do you think that we, don't, we didn't deserve to? to lose out apart see, from what you just said see, now concerning mm -hmm. the, uh, the change of players? You see, football is a tactical game. A lot of people, when you watch football, especially from the late time, all they see is they move forward and go and score, go forward and go and score. But that's not how football is. Football is tactical. You know, you have to plan. You, there are three, basically four halves in every football. You, you know, and you have to plan accordingly when the game starts. It depends on the team you're playing against. But everything in the game we did right. Everything. We, we knew they were going to come play. They needed the game more than we did. Yes, a lot of people will say, no, we should have gone play. But this is Argentina we're talking about. With the greatest player on earth playing for them. They have great superstars. Remember, our player to player, player to player, we don't come close. It is one of the players will be 60, will be 40. So we must put that into consideration. So the coach did well. The first goal we considered was when uh, 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 the ball was lost by Ekon. Ekon just gave the ball to an opponent, 
and a, a, a pass was put across to Messi. These are tactical mistakes that we made that we shouldn't have made. Again, it had to show superiority that they were better than us. And you know, uh, you know, let, let, let me just come inside again because uh, uh, back home here, a lot of people yes. are concerned about that that handball in the 18 yards uh, in the 18 yard box, yes. Yes. and they are also concerned about the VAR because the referee yes. went to check with the monitor to see mm. if that was the case, and he came back yes. and said, "No, that's not the case, but it was clearly a handball." That's the kind it of feedback we're getting here. So, yes. do you was, think was, was, is that one of the reasons why you say that we were robbed of this match? Exactly. That's a few things why I think we shouldn't have lost. That was a clear penalty. Even at the time, I was sitting with Lionel Messi's brother and his father and his wife. They were holding their hands in their head because they knew it was a clear penalty. But for me, it's not that one of it wasn't really the penalty because the ball now dropped for a gallo. You understand? This was an open goal. He should have just buried it at the time. That would have, would have been talking about what we are talking about now. Going back in retrospect. The penalty was clear because the, the people have called him. That's what happens with VR. If they are not, if you are not sure of the decision, what happens every time they call you, they are saying you need to look at this from another angle. That's why we have the VR there. Now, if there was no reason for, for, for the VR, because remember they were speaking to his ear, and what they were saying is it, it, the decision. It can be can be changed. It, it looks like it. Come and confirm. Now, if they call you to come check, 90 times 90 percent, it means it's a penalty. So they should have given us the they should have given us the penalty, and it, it gallows me. Okay. But this is football. Little All things right. like this yeah. and decide the game. All right, just give us a moment. Uh, we'll come back and wrap this up. Don't go away.